second stage, I suppose, of getting Dreamer used to this particular grooming tool. Um, it's a couple of days later. We've practiced uh, what you saw in the first video. And um, what's really interesting about today, it's really, really windy. I, I think you can see the trees behind you. And Dreamer's the kind of horse where he's very reactive to the environment. This is the kind of day where if he's going to become a little bit more emotional, it will be today. So I'm aware of that. And uh, you'll notice that I've only really changed two things. I'm wondering if you can see what I've changed from the first video. The first thing, of course, is I'm grooming. I'm, I don't have him uh, walking into that dark area. I'm grooming him normally where I groom um, uh, to get him ready for whatever I'm doing or just to spend some time with him. And the position of the vacuum cleaner is basically at the same angle that it was. He's seeing it out of his right eye. And what I'm doing is I'm just going about my normal routine of, of grooming him. He's still got a lot of this winter hair. But I want you to notice how st staccato, I guess, he was when I asked him to turn to the other direction. And of course, the reason for this is he's got his rear end now, uh, his tail, uh, close, closer to our forest. And again, that's difficult for him. He's always had um, some issues with things behind him. And you're going to see that again in the position that I uh, ask him to be in um, compared to where the vacuum is. So again, I, I'm always checking him. And one of the things that I do with my horses is I give them a chance, if they get emotional, to, there you go, you can see how much easier it is to turn in this direction because now he can face the forest again. I'm looking for soft ears, soft eyes. You can see that him, and he's really not caring about that vacuum cleaner at all. There, I'm just going to ask him, did you remember there's a vacuum cleaner here? He said, yeah, that doesn't matter. I'm okay with that. But I will ask him to, to lower his head sometimes because he's a little bit of an adrenaline junkie, especially again when the environment changes. So asking your horses uh, for his head to come down, they come off adrenaline. If their head's up, they're on a certain amount of adrenaline, some more than others. Uh, Dreamer really can get on adrenaline quickly. So I actually ask him gently uh, with a little bit of pole pressure to say, hey, I'm here with you. You can bring your head down and feel a little bit of relaxation and increase that serotonin instead of um, being addicted to adrenaline. So. Uh, I still have the vacuum cleaner now uh, at his shoulder, and you can see that now we've kind of changed from the left eye to the right eye. There, I'm asking for his head to come down. And now I'm going to change something. First, have another sniff of this. I'm going to position him so that um, that uh, vacuum cleaner is in a different position. Of course, I'm making a jiggly sound there so I can... Uh, just get him used to being things that might happen during any kind of situation where I'm grooming him and that vacuum cleaner is staying still. And again, I don't have it on. It's just sitting there un unplugged. So you can see how unconfident he is having that vacuum near his rear end. We didn't do that last time. And so that's a note to sell for me to uh, use the same thing that we're doing now with the grooming, but working on having that vacuum cleaner change positions um, from the front to the hindquarter. And I'm really going to take my time with that. There's no hurry at all uh, to change that. I don't care how long it takes as long as my horse is in charge of the timeline. 